Hello everybody, I am Elan from Skin Chakra, the place to purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and to learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. And today we don't have a real tutorial for you, we are going to share some of our results with you. A few weeks ago we made a kiss emulsion with shea butter and I'm going to link to that tutorial in the description below. Butters are very sparingly used in cosmetic formulations. In emulsions and creams, they are rarely used and if at all, they are used at low concentrations. You use them in your balms and butter formulations, in lip balm or in stick formulations, but in emulsions, they are usually used at a low concentration. And we associate them with stickiness, heavy skin feel or greasiness. We went wheeled with our butters and solid oils and made a kiss formulation with 20% oil and in each formulation we swapped the oil with the other one. We are just using butters or solid oils such as babasu and coconut oil that are solid in winter and become liquid in summer. The results are unique. Each one is a unicat on its own, but none of them feels greasy or sticky or heavy. They are very beautiful. Each one is uh, different to the other one, and they are even suitable for summer formulations. Applying butter in your formulations and in your emulsions it has the advantage that you increase the thermal and oxidation stability of the product. You can hot process, you can apply ingredients that need heating for processing such as ascorbyl palmitate or ceramides and you can really increase the temperature uh, without the fear of uh, degrading your oils because uh, butter is usually has a low iron value and ha uh, have a high um, thermal and oxidation stability. I'm going to show you our results one by one, by one sorry, and then uh, you can have a look at our original uh, video that we made with Shea Butter a couple of weeks ago. This one is like our original sample with Shea Butter. It looks like ice cream. You can see how nice and fluffy it is. The key to formulating stable and smooth creams and emulsions with a high concentration of butter is a long cool down and very uh, slow cool down. So you have to uh, stir the emulsion during the cool down for a much longer period that you uh, do it with a liquid oil. This one is with our plum butter that it smells amazing and it has a very nice and fluffy uh, texture, uh, very much like a cream but with, it is made with 20% uh, plum butter. Here we have the mango butter. It looks like meringue. You see how smooth and nice and non-grainy it is. And it has a very nice skin feel. This one is cocoa butter and I'm sure none of you has ever used cocoa butter in high concentration in a cream formulation. It has the highest viscosity of all of the products and has a, a denser texture, but it's still a very light uh, skin feel emulsion, but uh, really looks like a, a balm rather than an emulsion. This one is our Kupuasu butter, one of our favorites. Our team has uh, uniformly uh, voted for this one as the favorite and you see how nice and smooth the texture is. This one is with Muru Muru butter, 
Our second favorite, the color is slightly more yellowish than the other ones. Um, all of the others are luxurious white. This one is beige, yellowish, but the texture is amazing. Very nice and still fluffy despite the fact that it is an emulsion. This one is Babasu oil. It is like coconut oil solid at, uh, in winter and becomes liquid uh, in summer and uh, has a very nice skin feel. It's excellent uh, for skincare as well as for hair care and you can easily create a leave-on or rinse of conditioners with high concentration of oil uh, without uh, compromising the texture and skin feel. This one is with our Bakuri Boot Butter. Uh, it is a kind of brownish on its own and it is really not pretty, but in the emulsion, it becomes a nice uh, greenish color with a very light skin feel. And this one is made with coconut oil. You see how fluffy and luxurious the texture is. I hope you feel inspired by this demonstration to go and use your butters in your emulsions and make the best of them, improve the stability of your emulsions by increasing the concentration of butter and you see that you can create very light and fluffy uh, products by using high concentrations of butters and don't uh, isolate your butters for using them only in lip balm or in stick formulations. Have fun, I will see you soon. Thank you.